<laughs> What's up guys, it's Pierre here from Gdansk In Your Pocket. And as we know, the gastronomy industry has been one of the worst affected areas of the economy all around the world. And Poland is no different. But life goes on, as they say, and despite restrictions, many restaurants, cafes and bars have chosen to resist the challenges and fight back with ingenuity and innovation. It is this spirit that was celebrated in the spring edition of the Made For Restaurants Conference, where 20 fighters from all over Poland were featured and their efforts deliberated over by a panel of industry heads. One of the special prize winners was Maciej Raczynski from Bistro Servus here in Gdynia Orłowo. And we're going to head up the road now and have a chat with Pan Maciej and try some of his food. Maciej Raczynski, thank you so much for joining us on Foodie Fridays. Could you start by telling us a little bit about yourself and how you got into gastronomy? Actually, I'm a completely uh, outsider uh, in case of uh, gastronomy and also in case of Tri-City. So uh, I came from Austin five years ago. After 15 years working for the family business in Austin, I decided to to change it, uh, to change the, the way of living. Uh, I spent a lot of time traveling around the globe, so 50 flights a year, that took a lot of uh, uh, my personal time. I moved here to continue my previous job. I tried to, to, to work remotely for half a year and then I said, yeah, it's, it's, it's impossible. I need to start something from the beginning, something with, which will be, which give, me, give me a chance to use my experience but maybe on another field. We started in 2017. We started as a restaurant. I thought that that would be the brand I should uh, introduce service on the market. But, but later on, I realized that this, this place is very open. There are no strings attached. That's why I said, okay, we are kind of a bistro. And then we rebranded automatically during the, during the first year of operation. And we started to call ourselves bistro. So coronavirus first hit Poland in March of last year. I'm wondering, at what stage did you guys realize it was going to be a problem? And, and how did you adapt? By the mid of uh, March, we were almost without the customers. And then we were uh, automatically closed and then it started, yes. Then we, then, then we, then we were in a big mess, the, the big brainstorming, uh, what to do, how to accommodate to the new conditions and what to do next uh, if we can't uh, serve to our uh, local community. Some obvious answers from our side was to let's immediately invest in the new packages uh, which were suitable for takeaways. That was, let's say, the, 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 first, uh, the, the first answer. But uh, then later we start to uh, analyze what actually, why customers are not, uh, uh, not ordering? What is the reason behind it? And we uh, recognize that people are afraid that you can transfer the, the, uh, the virus through food. Uh. So uh, then we realized, okay, so maybe we can, we can uh, work out something which is very, very hygienic, which is, uh, which is absolutely in a full control of the final uh, customer. That was the moment that we introduced frozen pizza. The pizza which we prepared over here, we preheated, we prepared with uh, all these additives which we normally use uh, for pizza, but at the end of the process, we put it in the, into the shock freezing and then you receive the, 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 the plate, the, the, the circle which is very very stiff and uh, this is something which we started to offer as a fully safe uh, food because you can take it from the restaurant and the final, the final uh, step of the, of the process is controlled by you. All this crisis uh, created a pressure on us yeah. to to develop something, to accommodate to the new conditions. And, and that's why uh, the, the, the Safe Pizza was only one of the products which we introduced dur during uh, um, uh, lockdown time. We introduced also another product which gave our customers the opportunity to taste our food, not only on the standard delivery to their homes, but also, for example, the packages uh, to go to take the, our food to the beach or to the park, the boxes which, which are fulfilled with food, but also we have some uh, forks, some glasses and, uh, and plates inside. So it's a package uh, fully uh, prepared for you to go and uh, uh, take a lunch in the, in the uh, nature side. Maciej, at what point did you first become aware of the Made For conference? I've been observing uh, and attending the conferences organized by, uh, by them already for uh, I think at least three years. 
The moment I started the business also I, I started to put myself on the newsletter list from, from many organizations. I just wanted to know how this industry is organized, who is, who is the player on, on it. Admission to this uh, contest was open, yes, so, so everybody can attend. I compared Servus uh, to Rocky Balboa, <laughs> so, so that was like uh, Rocky preparing, uh, preparing for the fight, the first fight of Rocky, um, and then later another exercise, another training, and, uh, and the second fight, which was uh, the, the second lockdown. So that kind of uh, presentation shape also gives, uh, I hope, a good, a good impression. I'm very proud because to be in a uh, in a group of winners um, uh, and having a look to to who is who is the next to me sitting on the on the winner's chair uh, it's absolutely uh, amazing uh, this is like a, like a like a perfect prize and, and and a gift after this very very hard time we had what does it take to be a fighter in your opinion being a fighter means never give up and being a fighter means even there are hard times the re reward will arrive. So that is something for me that I put a lot of attention to, a lot of force, energy, a lot of time to serve us and, and to let this place survive. And if it's rewarded by, by the price like this, it's uh, additional, uh, additional, uh, let's say, price for me. So Maciej, you know the name of the program. It's Foodie Fridays. Uh, I'm here to try something from your menu. Um, what do you recommend? For the starters, I will propose the marinated salmon. Yep. Uh, which is prepared in a very special way because it's marinated in uh, salt, sugar and lime. For the main dish I will propose the pork ribs. So they are marinated in lemon and orange, sesame, chili, soya sauce and honey. We always use, use the uh, seasonal ingredients so everything from Servus is always fresh. Okay guys, well for the first time ever in this series I have steel cutlery and I'm eating indoors, special guest. I've never really done this before with inside, so I'm gonna see how we, how we go with the camera. I quickly try the pureed potato and, uh, and snow pea on my fork. Mm. Mm, snow peas are the perfect amount of crunchiness. And there's a nice pepper and herb mix in the puree, like you mentioned. I'm quickly gonna do some carrot, okay? What's up, doc? It's carrot. It's much number. Mm. Again, oh, and it's in butter as well. Mmm, beautifully emulsifying butter. I could cry. I'll do my best to cut through here. I'm gonna try it by itself first. Beautifully tender. And the glaze on top is a nice... I think that's the honey glaze they were talking about, yes. Mmm, wow. Nice solid cut there. This time I'll put it with a little bit more of the sauce. There, and I'll put in a snow pea as well, why not? Glorious, smachnego. Mmm. Jonas, the chef, seems to like to put orange in things. I think that's a conclusion we can come to. Let's talk about these amazing dishes that we've had. Presentation, the looks, amazing. Five, I can't, I'm, I'm blown away. Five, it has to be a five. Packaging, well, packaging in this case, in this instance, is obviously irrelevant. We're eating indoors. Um, and I'm very happy to have metal cutlery for once. On the other hand, however, we can uh, speak at length about the taste. And it may sound like a fixed review, but this is incredible. Look at that. Look at the way it's falling apart. Mm. I reckon if we removed the bone from this, um, this set of ribs, it would be um, at least 200 grams. So it's a really decent portion, actually. As for all the sauces and all that stuff, I mean, God, there's so many interesting things here. They're playing with honey, they're playing with orange, they're playing with uh, pepper. Um, oh, honestly, I, I have no complaints. Five. Five for taste. Now finally we need to talk about the value. Um, 
I can't comment on the specific price of everything I was given today uh, for, for two reasons. One, of course, is the fact that, uh, um, <clears throat> that uh, it's actually not uh, on the official menu just yet. Comparing it to prices on the regular menu at this very moment, a dish like what I'm eating right now is about 45 zlotys as an average. Um, plus the entree was 36. So someone needs to do some maths for me here. 81 zlotys? Is that right? I did an arts degree. I didn't do. Uh, I didn't even do maths in my final year of high school. Okay, so uh, 81 zlotys is approximately the value of something you would get, right? Um, for, for what I've eaten today. So is it on the pricier end? Yes. Yes, it is. A little pricier, you know. Maybe not the priciest in Tri City, but it's certainly on the pricier end. Is it good value? Absolutely. It's phenomenal value. I'm a little torn because they've been so nice to me. But you know what? That also counts service. Servus, that's service, right? Good service. So I'm going to give them a five. It's five all round. Again, I know it seems like it's a fixed review, but it's true. It's really great. It's a very nice place to be. So guys, what do you think? Have you eaten at Servus before? Or perhaps you'd like me to try somewhere else out? Leave a comment below. And in the meantime, you can check out all the great content we have on facebook.com slash Gdańsk in your pocket. And we're also on Instagram at Gdańsk in your pocket. And until next time, I hope you have a good week.